Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the InGroove in Phoenix, Arizona. And today I'm doing the new arrival video for January 22nd, 2021. This is all the new arrivals this week. So you can kind of see we bottlenecked into the holidays, slow, 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 and then bam, tons of stuff. Uh, yeah, I've been running ragged just to get this you know, stuff processed into the system. A couple of updates, the Stevie Ray Vaughn box set, uh, the One Step, I will have that if you pre-ordered it, shipping out at the end of this week, beginning of next week. I'm having some issues with freight. It's common. It's 2021. It's COVID. It's, you know, sometimes I wonder that if it's even COVID is the problem, but it seems like COVID has become the excuse for everything now that ever goes wrong. In the old days, they used to say, yeah, we screwed up, but now it's like COVID, not our fault. So, yeah, that's where it's at with that. So... Some huge, huge news. So last week I introduced shipping to Canada. Now I've introduced shipping to most of the rest of the world. Europe, uh, not most of the rest of the world, most of the record buying world. <laughs> Let's put it that way. So a lot of Europe, we've got Canada, Japan, Australia, go online, you know, play around with it. There's obviously the way the weights are configured, some things it's more advantageous. Sometimes you'll the shipping for one record is the exact same price for two, or the shipping for two is the same price as four. So play around with it a little bit, see how it works out for you. There are two new pre-order tone poets on the website, Andrew Hill's Passing Ships and Dexter Gordon's One Flight Up. Both of those come out February 26th, barring any delays. You know, I think the Sade box set that was pushed back from October to February, I think that is a pretty strong, solid end of February from what I hear. That is actually going to, going to, they're going to stick to that date. A couple of new essay CDs. I've showed you guys Frank Sinatra, Sing and Dance with Frank Sinatra. This is on Impex. This is the essay CD. I also have the vinyl, but the essay CD is new. Also, Run DMC. This is a restock, but they only did 2,000 of these. Extremely limited. I'm waiting on the vinyl. I hear it is real soon but you know real soon could be two months from now i'm not 100 percent sure but this uh the, the 2000 of the sa cds i got a few more of these restocked the vinyl is sold out the complete run so if you pre-ordered it from us you were good because i got the full run sometimes i get a little extras like the stevie ray von Mo one steps i'll have a little extra of those available you'll have to catch them because i don't have a ton and i'll have a few extra of the run dmc LPs when they come finally come out, but for the most part, it is out of print, you know, before it even got released. But a huge restock from Analog Productions. So this is the Bill Evans. This came out a couple of weeks ago. I showed this uh, at the Montreux Jazz Festival. This is the 45 RPM version. This has been a super, super popular seller. This is a record that I'm going to add to the top 100 imprint analog records you should own. I've been waiting for this to come out. Uh, Herbie Hancock's Headhunters. It is an absolutely amazing sounding record. You can get this both ways. 45 RPM or 33 RPM. The 45 sounds better, but the 33 sounds really, really good. It's an unbelievably good, funky record. Has the later, you know, the second version of Herbie Hancock's Watermelon Man on it as opposed to, it was on his first record on Blue Note. What is it? Uh, first Flight was the first version of Watermelon Man, but this is the funky version of Watermelon Man. Rob Wasserman, Duets, iconic audio file record. I've got it on 45 and 33 RPM. This is a must own. The best of Sam Cooke. Excellent recorded living stereo. I mean, one of my absolute favorite audiophile genres is soul. There is not a lot of great R&B soul, R&B soul themed audiophile records, but the ones that are in print like this one sound fantastic. I showed you guys this video on the top 20 audiophile records of 2020. This was on there. Uh, it's fantastic. Some records are recorded so good, and some people's voice sounds so good on vinyl that the record lures you in and makes you want to listen to it. And this is it. I mean, you think of Tennessee or any four, and you think this is like, this should be in the dollar bin, but this is an amazing sounding record. And every time I play it in the store, people go crazy for it and they buy it. But I got a good restock of that. 
Nina Simone. Little Girl Blue. This is the 45 RPM version. This has been out for some time. Comes in 33 as well. But the 45 is back in print. A lot of guys ask me to show classical records. A lot of the great audiophile classical records that are in print, we're waiting a repress. Uh, and a lot of the great classical audiophile records that are in print are analog productions titles. They did the living stereo stuff. They're doing some Mercury living present stuff. The stuff that they do is absolutely fantastic. Strauss, also Sprock Zarahustra. This is an absolute must own, probably one of the 10 greatest classical records of all time. Originals of this are extremely in demand, sound fantastic. I'm not a classical record expert, expert, but I know like this is one of those records that the diehards get, you know, 17 year olds get who know absolutely squat about music in general, you know, classical for instance, or, you know, they're brand new to buying music, they're super, super new, they'll buy this record. This is a must own. Mugorski, Pictures at an Exhibition, fantastic record. These are some of the better titles that they do and they've been out for some time. Wilson, Dave Wilson, before he was making, you know, half a million dollar speakers, he had his own label and a lot of the stuff that he did sounds absolutely fantastic. But yeah, uh, this is one of those. Sonatas for Violin and Piano, Debussy, Bartok, and Brahms. Really good sounding record. The Reiner Sound. Brahms Violin Concerto Heifetz. Try to burn through these classical titles. One of the most sought after original pressing living stereo titles is Respighi's Pines of Rome. This is a extremely dyna dynamic record and it's been on the Taz list, audiophile list for decades. Reiner Spain, this is a great sounding record. These living stairs, I mean, if you're trying to dabble and go in with classical or getting into classical, any of these living stereo titles are fantastic. They were extremely well recorded. They're considered some of the best sounding records, classical records ever made. Heifetz. One of the few classical titles that Capital did that is actually very valuable in its original state and very desirable. Milstein's Masterpieces for violin and orchestra. Some labels are iconic in classical. Mercury, RCA, Decca, Deutsche Grammophone. Capital is not one of them, but that is a very in-demand capital title. Finlandia. Reference Recordings, another absolutely phenomenal sounding series of recorded records. Exotic Dances from the Opera. This is actually really good. Some more living stereo titles. Petrushka. Stravinsky, The Virtuoso, Lazette, nice gatefold, Tchaikovsky, Symphony Number no. 4, I mean just the heavy duty cardboard cover, the vinyl, I mean everything about this, the way they recreated the covers, I mean these are absolutely fantastic and let me tell you, you'll see that classical collection I purchased sometimes back. Finding, and even that collection, finding records that are just perfect from the 50s and 60s, these, this, the golden era of, you know, classical recordings, it's hard. It's extremely hard. And this is, I mean, this is probably the best that these titles have ever been and close to mint originals, if not the same or better in some cases. Munich's Bolero. So these are all really, really solid. The C, Debussy. Absolutely phenomenal sounding record. A stereo spectacular. Mahler Symphony Number no. 4. One of the top three or four best sounding, in my opinion, living stereos and most, like these, this is a must have. 
Shahrazad, absolute must-own title for Living Stereo Classical. Rubenstein Reiner. This is <laughs> music for bang, baroom, and harp. Give this one a listen to. That's all I could say. One of maybe my top three favorite living stereos, which is brew. Absolutely fantastic. Amazing sounding record. Faust. Absolutely fantastic record. Second most expensive record on the living stereo label. Originals go for a thousand bucks. This is a more common but still desirable Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue, kind of an iconic living stereo title. Common, but really good. So got some reissues, some stuff that I have not seen in a while. Duke Ellington and Johnny Hodges plays the blues. This is a 45 RPM, all cut from the original, you know, master tape. Unbelievably good sounding. There's back to back and there's side by side. Both of these are 45 RPM, fantastic. Another analog productions title. Amos Lee, really, really good. One of the best sounding, in my opinion, Beach Boys titles recorded, Surfer Girl. This is the 45 RPM version. They also did it in 33. So this is stereo, but man, Hawaii on this, absolutely fantastic sounding, blow you away. Robert Cray, Strong Persuader. This is an Analog Productions, 33 RPM. Holly Cole Trio, Don't Smoke in Bed. 45 RPM, right? Yeah, I think this is 45 RPM. All right. And from my list of the top 10 in print analog R&B and blues records you should own, The Legendary Sun House, Father of the Folk Blues. Leonard Skinner, Nothing Fancy. This is the 45 RPM version. All of these Leonard Skinner titles that Analog Productions did were absolutely fantastic. You should check them out. Some of them come both ways, 45 and 33 RPM. Jeff Beck's Wired. So that is it for the Analog Productions restocks I have, and it is a lot of stuff. So let's get on, well, there's one more over here, but we'll talk about that in a minute. So this is probably my absolute favorite Sun Ra record. This is originally issued on the El Saturn label. This is a fireside chat with Lucifer. Modern Harmonic put this out. This is a sub label of Sundays. You know, this is a uh, God, thousand bucks if you can find an original. You know, I've listened to this maybe four times today. <laughs> so Angel said so my wife started turning it off because she don't like free jazz, but check this out. If you want to sample it, give a listen to Nuclear War. It's nice. So finally, finally, I got the last of my original order for The Real McCoy. This is a Blue Note Classic Series title. Oh, on a side note, I'll have the rest of the Horace Silver song from my father and the Wayne Shorter Speak No Evil out the end of this week or beginning of next week they're just not making enough of these classic Blue Note series titles. I've got the solution fixed for the third round where I will not be having this problem anymore, but the first couple of titles, I just don't think they anticipated the demand, but you know, you would think they would, $25, all analog, cut by Kevin Gray. Uh, I think I've got some Lee Morgan, the Sidewinders left too on the website, and I don't know if anybody has any of those left. I think for the most part, the real McCoy and the Sidewinder are sold out everywhere. So start your ear off right, a Rhino series that they've done for years now, just like Rocktober, they do start your ear off right. They did a chunk of the Dire Straits stuff. So making movies. Now these are typically really limited. You know, this is a one shot and you're done deal. So they did making movies. Now the first four albums that were recorded all analog, they're using the Bernie Grunman Analog Master. Stampers. So the stampers are the Bernie Grudman, which they've issued before. The European versions that I've showed you guys before use that master. This uses it as well. They're just cheaper. 
the last two albums, Brothers in Arms, which were digital, Robert Ludwig mastered these. So you've got Brothers in Arms, you've got Communique, analog, you've got Love Over Gold, analog, you've got the self-title, which I cracked open to listen to, sounds real good. And this is a 45th anniversary edition of Station to Station, David Bowie. Made in Germany, this is on colored vinyl, limited edition. Don't know what color it is. So this is a really, really cool start your rear off right title. But yeah, Curtis Mayfield's Superfly. This is on red vinyl, they actually did the die cut cover. Have you guys seen what the uh, 45 RPM that MoFi did that was on my top 10 imprint analog R&B records you should own, which is no longer in print. I need to take that off, but yeah, it's like a $200 record now. But, uh, you know, there's a red vinyl version. So they're doing uh, some Frankie Goes to Hollywood reissues, and this is the greatest hits of Frankie. And let's see, Brian Eno, Film Music. This is 1976 to 2020, I think, right? Yeah. So, cuts from Film Music. Old Dominion, Meat Candy, on vinyl for the first time, according to the hype sticker. So, I don't know if you guys remember, Sergio Simpson, Cut and Grass. This is the indie exclusive. This is on OPEC green and yellow vinyl. So this was really, really hotly anticipated, the indie exclusive. I had 50 people that wanted this record and they sent me one, one copy. So yeah, I didn't even show it to you when I got, I showed you the black vinyl version, but the rest of the order finally came. So yeah, I actually have the indie exclusive Sergio Simpson. This is on opaque, opaque green and yellow vinyl. Indie exclusive. So they just did the Jewel Pieces of You box set. Now they've actually done just the double disc standard vinyl. Lacquer's cut by Chris Bellman at Bernie Grunman Mastering. So, you know, I've heard this. It actually does sound really, really good. Repress of Billy Joe and Nora. Frankie goes to Hollywood, Pleasure Dome. Yeah, so now you can, you know, put Frankie on, relax, and uh, it's in print. They did a huge reissue campaign for Sam Cooke as well this week. So we've got Keep Moving On. This is some random record that is not Sam Cooke, but uh, the baby. Blame it on baby. Okay, you guys know I just don't know absolutely squat about hip hop. I'm sorry, but you know, it is what it is. But I carry it, you know. If people want it, I try to carry it. Some stores only carry what they like. I carry, you know, what people like. Mr. Bongo, Disco Valente. So this is weird. So Arlo Parks, Collapsed in Sunbeams. This is a poetry record. So yeah, it's just her doing poetry. Peter Tosh. This is numbered to 1,500 copies on translucent green colored vinyl. Mama Africa. Music on vinyl numbered. Kansas, point of no return. Numbered to 1,500 on flaming vinyl. I wonder what color the flaming vinyl is. Let's see. Actually, it says limited edition of 1,500, but this is not actually numbered. Except, Too Mean to Die, limited to 2,000. Orange and red with white splatter vinyl. Coheed and Cambria, music on vinyl. Not numbered. Doesn't say it's limited. So no world for tomorrow. Okay, so getting back to some of the Sam Cooks, an absolutely fantastic record, Sam at the Copa. Fantastic, great record. 
walking papers, the light below. Let's see, this is Blood Harmony by Phineas. Phineas from, this is uh, Billie Eilish's brother, who does pretty much everything with her. Sam Cooke, ain't that good news? I'm guessing their stuff is getting booted so much by the Spanish reissue labels that they're actually, they put this holographic official Sam Cook release on there. But yeah. I've got a very, very limited amount of Jethro Tull's Aqualong UHQR. These are number two, 5,000. I want to say on eBay, these are almost twice the price of what I'm selling them for right now. So I've got a very small amount of them. I just got them in a couple of hours ago. I haven't got a chance to listen to this specific version. It uses the same exact mastering as the Bernie Grunman Cut Classic Records version. But I've got a small, limited amount of those in stock. Genesis, A Trick of the Trail. This is on yellow vinyl. This is another Start Your Ear Off right title. They're doing a bunch of Mariah Carey reissues. E equals MC squared. Some of these Mariah Careys, I don't know if they've ever even been on vinyl. Crack the Sky, Tribes. This is a limited edition with bonus tracks. Spice Girls, forever. So, uh, yeah, first time, first time available on vinyl. So, you know, you're a Spice Girl fan, you're gonna wanna have this, clearly, right? Has the UK number one singles, Holler and Let Love Lead the Way. Features revised artwork and four collectible art prints. So, you know. Yeah. I don't know either of those songs. Maybe if I heard them, I would know what they are. I know Wannabe. That's it. The Fog. This is from Wax Works Records. This is John Carpenter's, oh, this is the, yeah, complete soundtrack. I showed this once before. Sold out pretty quick. Let's see. Uh, from Wax Works, Dark Side of the Ring. Also on Waxwork, Jacob's Ladder, the original motion picture soundtrack. I'm a huge soundtrack fan. My wife is an absolute huge soundtrack fan. She pressures me to get every single soundtrack that's out. Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. I try not to get too many because she just takes them all home. So, but I, I just, I, I've taken so much home, my stuff myself. I just kind of, we go with it, you know? But the thing is I listen to my records. I don't think she listens to them. <laughs> This is 3LP, red, orange, and yellow colored vinyl. The original score by Adam Taylor. So yeah, a little restock in from them. Mariah Carey, Memories of an Imperfect Angel. I had an original of this a while back. I think it was like in a box set. It goes for a couple hundred bucks or more if I remember. Nether Start Your Ear Off Right Title, Genesis. Duke, yeah. This is on white vinyl. Guided by voices. What is the styles we paid for? Comes with the download, uh, digital download. It says it's free. Guessing they're neglecting the fact that you bought the album. Another record my wife took home. Let's see, Whip Boy Presents Dracula, The Dirty Old Man. And this actually has a DVD of the movie on it as well. Yeah, this is a, a modern harmonic title. This is kind of cool. They're doing a lot of these B movie films. They're giving you the soundtrack and they're including the movie for free. I think this was supposed to be a record store day title that never actually came, if I remember correctly. Mariah Carey, Charm Bracelet. So I think we officially have all, if not almost all, of her catalog and stock. Look at this, so the Nuggets. See, Rhino can put out some cool stuff. So this is Nuggets, original artifacts from the first psychedelic era, 1965, 1968. This is an absolute classic, you know, psychedelic oriented compilation from the early 70s. This was actually cut from the original Analog Master. 
cut from the original analog album master. But uh, yeah, Nuggets is back in print. Kind of the album that probably got many, many people into, into psych music to begin with. Okay, so this is a restock. Start your rear off right title. The uh, name of the band is The Talking Heads. One of my favorite albums of all time. It is The Talking Heads live from about a five year span. Four year span, 77 to 81. Some more Start Your Ear Off Right Dire Straits on every street. Now, if you haven't stuck around for the video very long, you're not going to see this. And for some reason, I left some of the best titles for the end. Neil Young's Massey Hall, 1971. This is a title that has been out of print for a while and has been going for absolute buku bucks, but they are starting to put it back in print and yeah. Not buku bucks anymore. More Mariah Carey. Me, I am Mariah. This is on vinyl for the first time. And the last showing is a Nine Inch Nails video game soundtrack, right? Quake. So yeah, this has been an absolute huge new arrival week. We got an absolute ton of stuff. But uh, yeah, here it is. It's kind of like reminiscent of a record store day. I mean, just the sheer quantity of stuff that I got in this week. And there's actually a lot more that I haven't even been able to process to get on this video. So if you check the website throughout the weekend, you're going to see a lot more stuff go up, new arrivals. But yeah, don't forget to check out our Instagram page. Sometimes I put stuff on the Instagram page throughout the week. If it's a significant title that comes in and I don't want to wait for the video, I'll pop it on Instagram or Facebook. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys. Until next time.